Capricorns, welcome. Doing your heart spread, end of September time frame. Uh, remember, Fridays are always the Saggy Capricorn Day here. Um, and I'm going to be adding a singles read back on the 1st of uh, October, hopefully, permanently, every day. And anytime I do anything uh, astrologically based by sign, it'll be on uh, Fridays for you guys in the Sag. So two signs a week and uh, go through the Zodiac every week. Uh, but today also is the weekend Soul Family Read. So if you haven't been checking that out, it's on my site. Um, it's up for today as well. Um, check it out and see if you want to be a part of that. If you resonate to this, you, you may well be a part of Soul Family and want to get something out of that. It's collective read for whoever resonates. And a little bit more share myself. It's a little different reading, so um, something I wanted to do. I have a commitment to that one, so in the heart spread here is today reading who's on your mind who's in your heart this is my flagship read as it were you know been doing this one for years and kind of thought of it myself and then worked played with it a little bit and went down on a number of cards and i just find this one gets right to the heart of the matter <laughs> uh, pretty pretty quickly and gives me what i need we're going to start in the number one position with your energy. Wow. In the round relationships where your mind and heart is at right now in the September time period, the lovers. And, um, you know, excuse me, I was going to have to blow my nose. It's killing me, these allergies. That's an amazing day here in the Caribbean under the moon still. Uh, sun recently come up. Uh, but I don't know why I'm still getting hammered with the allergies. Let's see, lover's energy. Well, I try to separate that a little from how you're feeling about your person. Uh, so, I mean, you could be, someone could be on a dating site. Love is on your mind. You're not the person sitting around going, you know, I've had it with men, I've had it with women, it's going to get a dog, get a cat, and that's game over. You're, you know, you want love. The fool. And you didn't found a good person because I see this fantastic match here. You got two major Akanas. They're coming in with their energy being in the energy of the full wide open. You know, I, I mostly read Aries energy with that, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, if you want to go astrology. Um, and it could be a transit, too, to Aries, man, for them, or something like that. That's giving them this energy of just wanting to go for it. So you guys, you know, you could have met on a dating site. I'm not saying that I did. I'm just saying that both of you have this kind of energy that would be that kind of energy you know you weren't like just doing your own thing and completely not wanting a relationship and happened to bump into somebody uh, touch hands uh, picking a cantaloupe in the grocery store you know you guys were open to this uh wow in the chariot this is how you're feeling about them now caps this is your opposite but this is all kind of catching feelings all kind of emotional um and, you know, it's the energy of movement and kind of triumph. And I see this, the way I read the chariot in this relationship reading, uh, to, in, in reaction to them, it's fantastic. You would kind of look at the star over her head. Uh, you would kind of see them as the manifestation of your soul's destiny. Like that, very much like that. It's like maybe you were looking, you weren't sure, you could be choice card here. Uh, could always speak to Gemini in your chart because we all have Gemini or chart somewhere caps. Um, but w when in regard to this person, you know, not only it's just not emotional feeling, um, but kind of that cancer energy too. But it's feeling that they connect you. They feel well connected to your soul's path. And with the lovers and the chariot, you know, uh, do watch the soul family read. Just give it a, a whirl. It's more about manifestation, spirituality, you know, than, than relationship and romance. So, um, but you look, someone might have been manifesting here. And the fact that they come in as the fool is, I feel this is being drawn into your manifestation. I could feel, can, can you kind of feel it's like the fool is like jumps off the cliff. It's like the fool's wide open and your manifestation would just kind of catch him and pull him in here. And I think uh, with that chariot, you're kind of recognizing what you got. Holy God, thank you, Spirit. Where, how do they feel about you? The same thing. You're everything. You're the world to them. Oh, it's so much emotion. 
wow. You know, associate sometimes caps with not being emotional. That's crazy, but you know, it all depends on all, so many things. You know, caps are banging Pisces energy. You can always have a water moon, but this person, I mean, lovers in the full. I love it. They're working together. This is your. This is also your anima, animus. What you projected. So that's why I say. It's like just fall coming to you, almost like the universe like bringing them to you. And they're very happy to be here with you with this Ten of Cups. I mean, I think we could just about stop right now. It does overall imply to me that they are coming to you, probably from a distance in some way, um, maybe to leave a situation. Um, I, overall energy here is the hanging man. And so we'll look at that. The little I consider it now in the heart spread because immediately when I looked over and saw it and I was thinking about your distance you know there could just be a little hang up um, COVID or God knows something you know maybe a job uh, has to be dealt with or something you know um, it could be so many things but some kind of hang up but both of you are well aware um, that you are a manifestation of this soulmate energy here, Caps. Two of Swords. This is advice from spirit towards your person, Capricorns. Kind of having trouble with this because I don't see why. I think there is going to be this period, this difficulty, this hang up. And it's uh, going to be something that's difficult for you to deal with and this is trying to give advice from spirit let me get let me pull what their advice this is it your advice from spirit for them for your person that's on your heart um, how it's going to be between you how you can interact it's meant to be helpful here um, to this uh, sometimes it really isn't a relationship because it just isn't and usually then this advice just becomes helpful to you and how to deal with the relationship, how to get closure. I, I see a relationship here for sure. So, okay, okay, this is now making sense. So, this is their advice uh, from Spirit towards you. And their advice from Spirit is very clear. They got work to do to have you, to meet you uh, energetically. I think you're coming in at a higher level. Um, you may even be a little bit older. You could be a little more substantial, make a little more money. Uh, even be more solid emotionally um, in your personality um, here at Capricorn. It, um, I'd married to a Capricorn woman for 25 years, and I swear to God, uh, she's the most solid woman, uh, person I've ever known, strong person I've ever known in my life, um, in every sense of the word, solid, you know? Um, so they're going to have some time that they're going to have to do some kind of work, and this is Pentacles. Um, I get the feeling you got to extricate themselves from something. I hate to go like this, but there could be a relationship, but it could be a job too. It's pinnacles. It's like you're in another city or whatever, and they're, you know, I mean, you come in as a lover, you're ready. I mean, they're ready too. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind, Capricorn. They they're want this too. Like, I think they're delayed. Look, they got the fool and then the ten of cups. They all kind of love you. They're all yours. <laughs> This person is all about you. That's it, you know? But then this is advice from spirit, so this isn't bullshit here. It's like whatever they're saying they got to attend to, they got to attend to it. And uh, so it's really important because you've got a soulmate connection here, I think. And so they get the importance of it. And um, it's just you're not, you're not happy about this. And spirit's uh, telling you to kind of understand that you know, it's got to happen, because you look, I'm looking at it compared to their Eight of Pentacles, and it makes sense, you know, um, be strong, you know, with the Chariot card, I mean, you're, with the lovers in the Chariot, you're every bit as a, much of a fool for them as they are for you, they got the fool and the lovers, they are a fool for you, really, lovers in the Chariot, you're a fool for them, and what I think with you, uh, strong on your mind, is that there. this is a soulmate connection. You, you get how important this is. Wow. It's going to be a tough time coming up. Um, that's what this is reading. This is the advice for relationship as a whole. And, it, it, you know, it's very similar to the Two of Swords. And what the advice is, it's kind of hard advice, but 
think of it, it's like this. I think Spirit's saying, like, I can't really, I can't really, like, do anything about this. This has to happen. There's a soulmate energy here. There's divine timing. I'm telling you, like, I got this hard. And there's a connection here. And, and there's, there's wheels turning uh, in the background uh, spiritually um, that neither of you see. Physically, there is something. Your person's clearing out, whatever. Um, but the fact that this Five of Pentacles, um, it really focuses on we've got to get rid of any lack mentality. Because, look, you know, any time, I think, I mean, I'm not at such a high level. Maybe it's just me. Maybe other people better me. Really. I'm sure they are. But anytime I get rejected by God, by someone I love, I'm going to kind of sink into this energy. I'm going to hit my knees for a minute, you know. Sagittarius, I'm going to get back up, but I'm going to hit my knees. I mean, you take a hit, now, unless you're extraordinarily high functioning. And so basically it's saying, like, you guys are going to have to kind of take a hit here. Like, it's going to be some time and some difficulty. Uh, it could be five months. This could have been something going on for five years. You've got eight here. These are pinnacles. I see them as something long. In five to eight months, something that's been going on for five to eight years. Um, I also see the five of pinnacles here in the crucible. Look for Saturn energy in the composite chart. Talk to me if you want to go into this. Get a book a reading. Um, but if you, you, there's free places you can go now. Astro Seek, you just put in your times and they'll give you a pretty good automated report. report. But look for something going on with Saturn. I think you guys have significant Saturn in your synastry and your composite, meaning that it's a binding energy with Saturn. Um, typically, it's a trine or a sextile, uh, Saturn to Saturn, Saturn to an angle, particularly ascendant to descendant, um, Saturn to Venus energy, um, trine like that, or, or even conjunct, or in your composite like that. And so, it's like there's business that you guys have and you, you can't get out of this business. It's soul business, one way or another, you know. So even though it's hard, and you, you really are taking it hard, I see them as it, uh, maybe um, kind of having to work their way. Maybe, I don't know, they have to do extra work or something. It's, they're, they're, they're really going the extra mile for you, Capricorn, if they're not telling you how hard they are working. Like, if they're telling you, I'm sorry, I can't chat with you tonight because I've got to pull a double ship, that could be the truth. You know, I don't see anything here, any lies, any cheating, nothing like that, okay? In the Queen of Pentacles. But look, like, I'll tell you what, this is Saturn stuff. And is Saturn's a asshole, no doubt. But, you know, he's that asshole dad that what was a drill sergeant, and he's never going to hug you or say I love you, but he wants you to be strong really cares about you in his own way and you guys are going to be a strong couple out of this I mean wow a strong couple so you know you guys may have come together quick um, I think you manifested this person I think you know it um, you're I because I, I'm gonna tell you person I hate these stories about like twin flames and it's all screwed up and you can't be together I mean unless they're short-lived I don't like those stories because I see spirit usually if, we, if it's right, uh, bringing someone in clean, simple as that. Uh, but here it's not coming in clean. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts, you know, a lot of moving parts. See gears, gears moving, like something physical here. Um, but you're going to end up as the queen of pentacles. In Capricorn, you are the queen of pentacles, man or woman, that's you. So also out of this relationship, I'm going to tell you, relationships always go, they don't go 50-50. You're going to always you're going to get more out of this relationship than they do it's not a bad thing it's like but be assured that your patience and here and waiting and with a sense of poverty like why do not i not have this why do i not have this by saturn it will be rewarded in the end and it will be this relationship will be to your benefit which to me means it is now to your benefit so thank you guys. Uh, like, share, send it with a friend. Thank you guys.